what's up guys thanks for tuning in on today's episode of custom car reviews i'm your host gabe and today we're going to be looking at the 2020 tesla model 3 performance and here i have the owner of the car bryce nice to see you again <laughs> <laughs> he's had countless cars on the channel uh, bro as always thank you so much <laughs> You're welcome, bro. so let's talk a little bit about the model 3 which is kind of like the quietest car you've owned literally yeah. So this is a uh, fully electric car. It's from Tesla Motors, as you guys uh, know. This was unveiled uh, about five years ago, actually. Things were just very different back then. I think the flagship model was the Tesla Model S, which was just killing uh, other performance cars, high performance cars, even the sedan market. The only problem is, is that it was uh, very difficult to acquire for the average person. I guess the idea behind the Model 3 for Tesla was really the affordability and just competing with the smaller, mid-size sedan market like most of its competitors like let's say the bmw the the uh the audis they also have a different trim levels for their uh different cars this one actually has three of them so this is the model three performance with the dual motor this is the pretty much the sport the most competitive one it has like the most performance output so really the key differences between all of the models has to do with the range capability and of course the power output when it comes to the range the standard the entry level one that starts at around 35 33 with the incentive and stuff right yeah. So that one is about 263 miles. So then you have the longer range, which is the intermediate, that actually shoots up to 363 uh, miles. So that's, again, that's more for like traveling, uh, going longer distances. And then of course, this one is the performance and it has about 315 miles. It's not too bad compared to the longer range. It's a lot more than the, uh, the standard one, which yeah. is about 40 more. Starting is $55,000 on this particular Model 3 Performance. Uh, this one's spec'd out to be 68 because it has a bunch of other features that we'll cover uh, in a moment. The most craziest thing about this car is just how fast it is, especially off the line. What did it? it is uh, an all-wheel drive system electric car. There's no, basically, wheel spin ever. None. I mean, ever. <laughs> All of that makes this about a 2.9 seconds 0 to 60. That's faster than the Super Legera DB11, faster than the Lamborghini Reventon faster than the C7 ZR1 off the line. A quarter mile, that's a different story. Yeah. But nonetheless, zero to 60 is what the common situation in the city is gonna present city. itself. So the latest update, performance update that came out, granted this car 5% more horsepower with a couple other tweaks fixing on the self-driving, which we'll cover in a moment. From the factory, this comes with about 450. That 5% increase, it bumps it all the way to like 475. When it comes to the uh, overall look of the car i am pretty impressed with the overall design a lot of car youtubers actually have compared this to a frog if this was in a green color like a very bright green color yeah, yeah i would definitely see it as a frog but this one's specked out in a multi red color paint job it's about two thousand dollars it's a beautiful color one of the things that i do have to say is really impressive about this car is the fact that it's very minimalistic in design i mean mm. really it is the front is it's there's no complicated grill design like you'll have in other cars very simple headlight and bumper that's that's, that's it, it. Yeah. you do have a small little grill on the bottom though of course you got to have some airflow going in through it now on the side he's actually added two little carbon fiber yeah. <laughs> winglets on the side really really cool and right beneath them you do have like little ducks air ducts that'll channel the air out which is, i thought it was really cool that's very really good yeah. i i thought it was a really nice touch so as we move towards the side of the car um, again very very sleek design what's really cool about this car is that it kind of has like a hatchback type of feel like especially on the profile of the car it's not a technically a hatchback it's got like a, a like a more like pronounced end it's, so it's a very interesting design of course on the profile of the car you see these amazing very aggressive black matte black uh, wheels that hide the very nice Brembo brakes uh, in red paint color I think that's a really cool design I actually like it how these are flat black I think if they were glossy it would kind of like distract it Really good spec out, dude. Thank you. So as we move to the rear of the car, first thing that I think a lot of people noticed is, of course, the carbon fiber spoiler that it has there uh, from the factory. Very nice. You know, it's it's not too extreme, very impressive, but uh, nonetheless, it's kind of like a little touch to add to the sportiness. But the back end, I think is, they did a great job on it. One of the cool things about Tesla is that they translate that minimalistic appearance into the inside. I can't stress enough just how simplistic this car is i mean literally it's just a steering wheel 
and a uh, an iPad. <laughs> yeah. You have iPad. nothing in front of you and no speedometer in front of you. It's at night. It just feels like you're just watching everything. Again, the interior is, is extremely simplistic. I mean, I love the wood trim that you added on this. Well, this company is 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 kind of it's supposed it's an automaker. It's an automobile manufacturer but it does give you a hint of like a tech company as well. I mean, yeah. there's just so many features that you have on in, in, in available to you in this car. Look, you have games, you can actually play a, a racing game where you, the <laughs> control is actually the steering wheel, which is great. You have chess for those people that are board game fanatics. It's like going down a rabbit hole on it. You will literally find something new every time you explore it. I remember one day I was day trading and <laughs> I went to lunch with my dad and I was like, yo, I wonder what the, the stock of the price is now. So I just went on, on the browser and I saw the price went up like slightly, like two bucks. And I was like, oh shit, it's time. And I was like self-driving and trading at the same time. It kind of feels like this is a computer on wheels. Uh, yeah, that's, what it is. that's what it is. <laughs> Literally. The storage in the trunk is really good as well. The storage in the front is also pretty acceptable too. You can yeah. put up like a backpack. Yeah, like groceries. That's what groceries, yeah. backpacks, good, good. It's also pretty impressive when you pop the trunk and then people are yeah. like, what the heck? <laughs> Where's the engine on this thing? The center console here has plenty of space as well. There's no transmission, so all of that space is legit storage they've actually gone ahead with creating a pseudo leather it's kind of like the vegan leather, vegan leather if you will so this will definitely resonate with a lot of Millennials I, if you're definitely somebody that is conscientious of the environment this is something that you might want to look at as well very comfortable seats Insanely I mean insanely comfortable it's a very like, plushy. coming from the M3 that was so stiff, stiff and this is just a couch like you just sink in it's, it's so nice and one of the cool things is that even though you sink in the holsters still feel pretty tight, mm. I'm not gonna lie. It does have also Alcantara on the sides here, kind of gives you like that very expensive, sportier Sporty, car yeah. feel, really, really nice. The back seats, just like in any other performance sedan, are pretty spacious as well. Uh, something actually that uh, the owner has added to the car that does not come with it, obviously, are these Govi LED car yeah. lights that uh, really add a little bit more festivity to the car. I mean, look, it's a really fun that car. Night, yeah. I actually have a video that has a tutorial of installing them on, on any car and how to use the app. Uh, link in the description below or on the cards above. All right, guys, so now that we've talked a little bit about the interior, exterior, some of the performance characteristics of this car, I think now would be an appropriate time to uh, get behind the wheel and let's uh, go try this shit. Let's go drive it. So this car has a feature where you never really have to use your brakes no. because since this is electric powered, you can actually accelerate let go of the accelerator and it'll start to brake for you so literally i don't want to ever hear the excuse that oh i got to change my brake pads no, on this car I don't have to. since we're in a pretty heavily populated area right now uh, we're actually going to try the self automated or self driving feature which is a, an option that used to cost a grand but now is ten thousand dollars it raises the question you know is it really worth it well it uh, let's go ahead and find out okay so what you would do to activate it is literally bring it down as you're driving the uh, gear selector do it twice let go of everything and let Jesus take the wheel no hands Jesus has taken the wheel I probably press a break you can't be scared I, I, like I, this. I, I got <laughs> I, I'm kind of scared dude. <laughs> you can't be scared like this <laughs> okay this is okay, so now it's gonna stop because it sees the red light so to activate it back just press it down once all right so I'll engage it again this is some bumper to bumper traffic right here. This is so cool. So we're going to save to do so it's gonna choose by itself. <laughs> that is something that at first you try it and it's like, oh my god. <laughs> One of the things that I've still can't get out of my mind is just how insanely quiet it is like for somebody that's coming from a loud car like yeah. me and you, you <laughs> yeah. you've had some, your fair share of loud cars how has the transition been i mean are you used to it now i feel like i'm getting older and i don't want to make as much noise as you I don't feel to. you are <laughs> <laughs> thanks how? it feels faster anyway because you can actually flow the car and nobody's looking at you because it just nobody hears you so it's actually pretty how the tables have turned yeah now, it wouldn't be fair to say that I've never experienced this. I have, but as a driver, well, it's, it's been some time, so I need some uh, juice. Reminder. Look at that hand <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I think from zero to like 85, it's insanely, insanely quick. quick. It, it zooms. After that, it starts to like die down a little bit. 
I mean, I think it's just a feeling because it still continues to pull until 160, but, but it's still super fast. So let's do a, a, a quick 30 pull. <laughs> what? <laughs> Even at 30? <laughs> Oh. It keeps on climbing, yeah. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I really think that the closest thing comparable is like a roller coaster, really, like yeah. Space Mountain. Yeah, because like even the McLaren, it's, it, the McLaren is really fast, fast, but it doesn't feel the same. It's a progressive feeling. Yeah, it, it's, it's more progressive, like oh, it keeps going and going and going, but this is just insane, like... Boom. Instant. The suspension is really, really pretty compliant uh, to not to. Yeah, look, we just we're gonna go over like a bump right now. You feel it, just not like it's no just, big deal. It's just not a headache. Yeah, <laughs> it's not a headache. It's it's really, really, really enjoyable. All right, guys. So there's a very long stretch of street in front of us. I think now would be a good time to uh, test that zero to sixty. Three, two, one. <laughs> What do you think of the brakes? Not good. Not good. Right? Not good. They're they're um they're pretty sluggish. This one's a little slow. It's very very slow actually. <laughs> uh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is there any other package that they offer from the factory to to remedy these? Because I mean, again, they're not the greatest. Yeah, I mean, since they introduced Strike Mode V2, and with that they put a, a package with wheels and brakes. It's around five grand, I think. And yeah, it just gives you new wheels, new tires, and um, the brakes. Alright, so let's take this turn a little aggressively. That is crazy. Instant. This actually seems like it would be an amazing track car because, yep. I mean, literally the turns, the suspension, it's not, look, there's some body roll. It's not as planted yeah. as the M3 was. Uh, but the fact that this car can literally accelerate and just go without any like drama. No, correct, because you're, you're still turning and you're still yep. accelerating. Like you don't have to wait until you're straight to start. So now we're going to go ahead and switch to track mode. Okay, so in track mode, one of the cool things about it is that you can actually customize it uh, immensely. Just like you can customize the steering and every other feature, suspension. You can actually customize and, and actually build different profiles. Like for example, we're going to use a, the name GV mode for this review. Uh, we can actually change the stability assistance. We can change the handling balances. I mean, if you want to divert it more to the front, to the rear. Um, regenerative braking, which is essentially what yeah. uh, that feature is where you let off the gas and it'll just like kill the, the power for so you. You can choose the stability assist. You want super like stability or you want none? I think I think for the purpose of this review, let's leave it with as much stability assist and as possible. Let's do a 7 and let's do a, a 70 30. I think that's pretty conservative. Okay. All right, so now we are on GV mode. GV mode. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit less traction. I want to feel that thing slide. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> I just love how how quick this car is to take it and just shoot you out of the corners. It's just really crazy. I've actually uploaded plenty of videos of this car racing other cars. Um, in its league, not in its league. We actually did the M3 on a stage two, was it? Stage, stage two. one, yeah. A stage one, uh, you can check that race above in the card or in the link in the description below. We even raced a full bolt on Z06, and all of those cars had one thing in common. They were having a hard time with this car. That low speed. The only other car that really gave it a run for its money, and it really, what money is that? I mean, is the Aventador. Yeah. <laughs> but it's an Aventador, <laughs> you know, it's a six-figure car, and this one, uh, barely makes it a 70,000 or even the M3 comp package with the comp package oh, it's, it's still it's like an, in the 80s yeah. almost 90,000 same with the C63s with a really good track package on that spec that you're gonna see very very high numbers and this one's about $30,000 less sure it doesn't sound nearly as good um, and you know it's arguable that it doesn't look as aggressive or as good but it just outperforms it in every aspect I think in comfort this is a definitely a comfortable car in, in terms of 
you know, handling in the corners. This one is pretty good. Braking, I do have to give it to the M3. Overall, the acceleration, insane. By the time they downshift, the car gets into it like the, the rev range and the boost starts picking up. You're already gone. Like Literally, you're already <laughs> like, done. It's, it's, it's like a done deal, like you're done. This was a very interesting car, uh, very interesting drive because uh, it's my first time doing a fully electric car, uh, one that has a performance orientation to it uh, as well. It really did open up my eyes to, uh, you know, consider a car like this uh, when the time comes, when the budget comes. I, I think it's really, really impressive overall design, interior, driving, uh, everything is just really, really impressive with this car. Me, I've always been very techy and I, lo I have a passion for cars, so it's like, Every, the two of them are mixed together, it's like, it's perfect. It's like, I think exactly, that's what yeah. uh, Tesla, the execs, Elon, everybody has in mind. Let's reach out to the people that love cars. And technology. And technology. I hope you guys found this informative and entertaining as well. Don't forget to uh, like this video, guys. It helps out with the algorithm. Give it a like if you guys found this car exciting as much as we find it <laughs> exciting. Don't forget to comment. What's your favorite part about the Tesla? Would you guys get a Tesla? And guys, don't forget to hit the notification bell. If you guys found this video informative and you guys like the channel, uh, get on the Noti Gang. Very, very uh, cool way of getting my videos on the spot. But thank you guys for watching so much, and I will catch you next time.